Using the change of an assembly, the basic handling of space claim will be presented. It is the differential assembly that should be changed. After choosing the item Kitech Display, the graphical preview instantly. The function load copies all needed files from the Kitech Vault to the user workspace on the local machine and opens it in Space Claim. The updated structure allows direct access to every component of the assembly. It is the flange that should be changed and one of the first questions will be the question of where used. Using the info function in SpaceClaim, I will receive all relevant Kitech information about the part. So I can have direct access on the where used of the selected component. We see that this part is only used in the currently loaded assembly. After performing the change on the flange, I will store the assembly back to the Kitech vault. Within the store dialog, Kitech presents all space claim components in their current status. Components with a warning triangle have been changed or they are new parts. The change of the flange should be a compatible change, for that I will create a new revision of this part. Every change of components will be documented in Kitech PLM. It is the same for the assembly. It will be a compatible change. I create a new revision of the assembly too. The models are stored now and the preview files are generated. The updated structure now shows the result of this procedure. After check-in I will have the old revision dash and the new revision A of the assembly. The red lock in this context shows that this model is locked by me. No user will be able to make changes to this assembly at the same time. Let's switch back to space claim and create a drawing for the flange. I open the part in a separate window and use the space claim standard functionality to create a new drawing. Now I will store the drawing of the flange into the Kitech vault. In the Kitech store dialog I can overwrite my file and the preview is also refreshed. Let us take a look onto the drawing once again. All data of the drawing template including the history will be updated automatically using Kitech data. After changing the assembly and store it back into Kitech, we have to look after the impact of this change on the parent level of the product structure. The wear used of the differential shows that it is used in the main assembly of the gear. The gear has not been updated automatically. It uses still the revision dash of the differential. Because all products have been maintained in their S-built or S-shipped status, it is not allowed to update the parent levels automatically. Of course I want to update the structure to the current components. Kitech provides function to do this with a few clicks. The function load structure allows me to load the structure of the gear using the current revision of all components and open it in the status in space claim. We see that now the current revision of the differential and the current revision of the flange are inserted automatically. Using the info function in space claim once again, I will receive all relevant Kitech information about the part. In this case we can see that the revision that was used is the revision A. Let us talk about office documents now. As easy as using the Windows Explorer, you can drag and drop Kitech documents to export it to an Explorer directory or simply put it into an office document. In every office application you will find the Kitech store functionality, which helps you to easily store your files back to Kitech. With one click the WinWord file is stored. The important fact, all information in one place, all structures and dependencies available with one click. 